Thank you for choosing CTN. And now, it's time with Herman and Sharon. I love you. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. We have one of our favorite nutritionist yeah came, came all, all the way, way from california thank you for saying that yes, yes. just moved out there it, it, lucky in, guy in <laughs> fact he was telling us in the green room that when he got off the, the the plane last night and he hit this wall of heat <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> i mean and we it's happened to us when we've come back from washington state which i love dearly and yeah. we come back to this area and you hit that wall of heat and you go <sighs> Well, this has been one hot summer this yes, year, I'll tell you. Yes. Very warm. But I want <laughs> you to meet once again. Uh, he hasn't been on for a while, but my good friend Bruce Brightman. Uh, there he is right there. Can I read about him? Dave? <laughs> I'm going to tell him about him. He is the founder of Life Source Vitamins. Uh, hold, hold on him right there. I, I have to tell you how I first found this guy. I was watching one of my, or, or looking through one of my Christian magazines. I think it was World Magazine, I believe, or Christianity Today, something like that. And I saw this uh, whole list of vitamins, and then I saw a testimony, and I go, wow, i got to have that guy on. That was my first meeting of Bruce. But uh, it, <clears throat> it was the pain of losing his father, Al Brightman, in 1992. Mm -hmm. to pancreatic cancer, wow. That motivated Bruce to start a nutrition company to help people become healthier. And Life Source Vitamin is a Christ-centered company donating all the proceeds to Christian ministries. And today's topic, I guess Dave's got that out there someplace, it's sugar how it can destroy the body. We're going to talk about that today. But Dave, I, I, I gave Dave a verse. I hope, I hope we've got it for the screen. But I wanted to start this in 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, 19 through 20. Bruce, you can look at the screen and read along with me. Yeah. It says, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? who lives in you and was given to you by God. You do not belong to yourself. Get that. Put that in parentheses. For God brought, bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. That's in a New Living Translation, which I love, by the way, because it just kind of puts it out there the way it is. Mm -hmm. I say that because so many Christians have the idea that I accept Christ and I live as best as possible for Christ. I mean, I, you know, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't carouse, and I don't even associate with people that do that. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of the genre, isn't it? But, but we, then we forget that, you know what, the body that we live in, this is the only one we're going to get, needs care. That means how we eat, exercise, sleep, sleep, what we do to ourselves. I mean, we we sit in front of food upon food. We, we, we'll we'll have places that we'll go, friends that we'll meet in some other state, and and I I've gotten myself so I only eat breakfast and lunch. That's it. And we both kind of get into that. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you meet friends, and it's like, oh, let's go for breakfast. Okay, well, that's great. I like breakfast. Well, let, let's get a lunch. Okay, you know, okay, we'll get lunch. And to me, that's over. <laughs> then you'll, then at like two hours later, they're saying, where do you want to eat? Mm -hmm. And I'm going, I look at her and going, and, 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 I, and that's just the first day. All during the week that you're with them, you're hearing, eat, 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 eat. We've gotten Bruce into a... It's a social thing. Mm -hmm. Into a mindset that every time the body says, you're just a little hungry, right? Well, for goodness sakes, go get yourself a banquet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
and most of what we eat is filled with sugar, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the studies are showing that. Yeah, I, I've got I've, Bruce sent me all kinds of information, and we're going to put some of it on the screen. Uh, it says, "Why is sugar so important to limit in our daily diet? Diabetes." That's just the beginning. These, these are things I'm reading from his, his information. The average American consumers consumes 32 teaspo teaspoons per day of sugar. 32. Now you're saying to yourself, no way. Check it sometime. Men should consume nine teaspoons per day and women six. And then in 1915, this, this is Bruce's information, the national average of sugar consumption per year was around 15 to 20 pounds per person. Today, the average person consumes 120 pounds a year of sugar plus over 20 pounds of corn, corn syrup. So let's start there. Yeah. I mean, when I'm reading your stats, I had to take a double take. I'm going, this can't be. It's shocking, you know, and that, you know, that includes women. So in essence, women are included. So that could mean some slighter men and women are consuming their entire body weight of sugar annually. And it's that's the liver, just the liver alone to process 120 pounds of sugar. You know, the liver is the ultimate detoxifier. It it detoxifies the, the supplements, it does all the, the prescriptions and all the stuff that we eat and drink, that's where it's going. It's being processed, it's doing what it's supposed to do. But when it's overloaded with sugar, it can no longer do the other things that it needs to do. So therefore, it can't process all the sugar. So what does that sugar do? That is basically calorie free, sugar's very little calorie. So that's the, the whole non-fat thing that they do. Yeah. Um, so then all of a sudden it stores that sugar as fat. Now you said very uh, little calories. I always think of sugar as high calorie. I know, most people do. It's, it's very low in calories. So whenever you see reduced fat, healthier version, yeah. They have they have backloaded it with sugar, which mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. yeah, which I, yeah, which yeah. has fewer calories than. But than it's worse for you, really. Way worse, you know. So all this reduced fat stuff is uh, actually wreaking havoc on your all body. Right. Say my, you know, your parents or back even further, my parents. Did they eat different? I mean, was the food they ate, the way they processed it and everything, different than what we're eating today? Yes, I mean drastically and and here's and it's it's only because we have a grocery store that has 20 aisles and then a perimeter our parents ate only on the perimeter yeah that's all they ate they ate. you go to the right at any Publix or any grocery store you have your vegetables and all this stuff you True. go around the corner you're going to the meat the seafood you're keeping on down the road you're going to the cheeses and the milks and everything that is provided by God yeah. is, on the is on the perimeter. Everything man-made is in the 20 aisles in between. Anything that's canned, it's got the preservatives and sugars. Anything that's processed has Cookies. been processed with food, with sugar, without question. So those are the kind of things, that's the biggest thing is stay on the outside, not on the inside. The inside is trouble. The outside is what was given to us by the good Lord. You know, I, I, that, is that true. perspective I've never yeah, thought about. I've it's never, really true. You're absolutely right. This is uh, the effects of consuming too much sugar are too numerous to count. Here are just a few conditions with a direct link to sugar. Now I'm going to read what, uh, what the effects are. Inflammation, arthritis, uh, it increases bad cholesterol and triglycerides. Triglycerides. triglycerides, brain health as we age, uh, conject, con cognitive, what is Cong it? Cognitive thing, uh, functioning. Yeah, cognitive oh, yeah. functioning, yeah. yeah which, which I just had. Uh, heart, <laughs> heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, leading cause of obesity in adults and children. My goodness. So that's a big one. Depression. I mean, you can Depression, think of, cancer, <laughs> and, and, and inflammatory bowel disease, autoimmune disease, wrinkles. That, that's Just a big about one. everything. And poor skin health. 
looking mm -hmm. old, asthma, all of that. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. The studies that, are, that have been done all over the world, not just in the U.S. The U.S., sometimes you, it feels to me that they, and I hate, it's kind of apropos, right? They candy coat the studies. <laughs> yeah. And just like they candy coat our foods, right? And that's, you know, part of the problem. But when you get into these worldwide studies, there was one study done uh, that they studied 21 different studies, 347,000 people. And what they found was it wasn't the saturated fat that they are talking about that give you heart disease and diabetes. It's the sugar. So it's not the eating steaks. It's not eating lean meats like they've been going oh, after sure. for years. Oh, sure. It's the sugar industry. And I don't mean the industry. I just mean it's sugar. Yeah. Okay, so. let's, let's just get a little display here, folks. Right. This is pretty heavy. Now, that is what? what fifth, uh, ten, ten 15 pounds. calories ten per serving. That is low in calories. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, and it's one teaspoon is 15 calories. Mm-hmm. Not a lot. No. If you take a teaspoon of something else, it could be 50, I, 75, 100 I have calories. never thought of that. Right. Now, now, it was a revelation to me when you said that the FDA, they, they want you to take the fat out, and what they do is they put sugar in. Right, because mm -hmm. it's low in calorie. And this right here represents what your body processes every 30 days in sugar. Mm -hmm. And right that's, there. this is the table sugar that your body will process. There's more corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. So this is 10 pounds every month the average American's liver is processing this big bag. And it, it's heavy. You know, right? I, thought, I thought that an alcoholic or a heavy drinker, that they were the ones ruining their liver. But this is ruining it too. Yeah. Yeah, it's called uh, non-fatty liver disease, which is, you know, usually alcoholics get something similar to that. It's called cirrhosis. Right. It's when the liver is being bombarded by alcohol. Mm -hmm. This is sugar, and they all always will state it as sugar alcohols, if you've heard that expression. No different. This thing is bombarding the liver so it can't function right, and which causes massive weight gain. The number one cause of adults and children weight gain is this little Sugar. bag. Well, we, we've seen how America is going. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when you see, look around you and how, how obese the people are, you yeah. know. Listen to this, this is his notes also. 94% of rats that were addicted to cocaine chose sugar over cocaine. And that's during Look the that. addiction Look at that. phase. There it is on your screen. Yeah. Just stare at that. Uh -huh. So so sugar would be in the family of cocaine addiction? That's they the study proved that in 2015 that sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. Eight times. So that means a rat that was addicted at that time instead of choosing the drug that he's addicted to, chose sugar while addicted to cocaine. So think that's about what that's doing to our children too. They are so addicted to sweets and it's, it's everywhere. It, mm -hmm. it just is so easily gettable. Yeah. Your notes say there are eight teaspoons of sugar in a Pepsi and 10 in a Coke. Mm -hmm. More in a Coke, huh? <laughs> so eight teaspoons, yeah, it's pretty shocking. Pretty shocking. It, 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 that's what I'm saying is, you know, going back to, to 1 Corinthians 6, that applies to how we take care of this temple, right? Because mm -hmm. this is it. So then is Diet Coke better for you? Everybody should be eating no. diet stuff? There, I mean, if you, you can get online and watch what having a Diet Coke does to your body. They have it all over the internet. You can kind of search it and say, what, what happens to your body? It's pretty shocking what happens, you know, all of that stuff. We're seeing a, a massive decline in, in soda drinking in general because really? of information. Mm -hmm. Now, there's still a lot of people that drink it, but yeah. awareness is, is helping. It's kind of like awareness is helping eating more veggies and eating a little more organic if you can, even though it's a little more expensive. So it's, the movement's coming. 
But they say by the year 2050, over 50% of the U.S. population will be obese. Mm -hmm. And that's not just overweight, that's obese. You know, it's a funny thing. Sharon will go shopping and I'll go to a few stores because I, I enjoy it too with her. But then, you know, I'll give her, okay, an hour, is that long enough? And so she, <laughs> off she goes. So I'll kind of sit down and wait. And when she comes back to me, she says, how you doing? I said, I, I've said this so often. I said, I'm sitting here looking at the most overweight people I have ever seen in my life. I mean, you sit in a chair in a mall and just watch the people go by. I mean to tell you, they're not walking, they're wobbling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's shocking. So what you just said, years ahead, they're probably gonna be in those motorized carts in order to get through the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, that's a big business these days and it's only gonna get bigger, you know? Mm -hmm. People, uh, it's, Sometimes it's hard to make the right choices. It just is, yeah. you know. And, and grocery stores. What do you? Okay, Everybody's in a hurry. Yeah. Okay, Bruce. What do you do with with this statement? Because they'll look at some. Because because I'm. I could be very overweight. I mean, I got to a point in my life where I. It's like I told her. I said I knew that I either do it now, when age catches up, it's twenty times harder, and it gets worse. So I I, I put boundaries. And that's what I've done for all of these years, because I, I, you know, I, I keep those up. But I've had people say to me, you don't have the problem I do. And, and they're looking at me and they're mm -hmm. pretty well overweight. And I want to say to them, you can't do that to people, but I want to say to them, yes, I do. I would be that. Given what I want to eat and what I desire to eat and what I would like to eat on a regular basis, I would be that. Mm -hmm. He loves eclairs, I know that. <laughs> but but I, I'm, I'm telling you, but, but the, you, have to, you have to make boundaries or yeah. you will be that 300 pounds or 200 pounds or whatever your frame will allow. Right. I mean, you, the frame you've got, you could go up to 400 pounds and nobody would say you're obese mm -hmm. because of your, your structure. Height and everything, yeah. What do you say when, when they think that I'm like this because I cannot do anything about it yeah it's that that's the toughest part is the first step the first step is cut out processed foods if you can processed foods if you can't cut out processed foods read the labels and and that's the a number one goal if if they only take the audience only takes one thing away ch start looking at labels if it has five grams of sugar in it that's one teaspoon of this five grams of sugar Everything has five grams. You look at spaghetti sauce, you look at low fat dressings, you look at everything, it's mm -hmm. all packed with a, a teaspoon here, a teaspoon here, a teaspoon here. We're, we're eating 32 a day, so they're coming from somewhere. Oh yeah. And it's basically every week. So the processed foods is big. When you have a hunger pang and you want something sweet, have a glass of water. If that doesn't do it, have, a, have an orange. You cannot have enough fruit that will cause your body to make you gain weight. That's a misnomer. It's, it's from God's hand to your mouth. It is the perfect thing to, to eat an apple, almonds, anything or, that is or grown. Or if you don't have the, the choppers to do that, then get yourself a juicer. Yes. I mean, yeah, juice. It, it is fabulous. Fabulous, it keeps all the, the pulp in there and the good stuff if you, if have, if you have a juicer. Perfect. You, yeah. you, you say, uh, just what you just said, you said uh, your intake of protein by eating and protein powder, take, take a good multivitamin. In fact, Dave, can, maybe you can get a shot of the product that, uh, that LifeSource uh, has right over our shoulder here. There it is. Yeah. Good shot, Dave. Uh, but if you go on the website you're seeing on your screen right now, Go to that website. You can get a magazine that you saw on the screen, uh, which is, I mean, he, the way he does things huh. is tops. I mean, his magazines are just phenomenal. You can actually find stuff in there, and you can actually know every item and what it means and what the product is. So get that magazine. That's a real source. But that's the kind of product you have. And you know what I like more than anything? I trust Bruce. I mean, I go in a drugstore or a 
grocery store and see all of their vitamin shelves or whatever, I don't know who put those up there. And I don't know how they were made. But I trust Bruce. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. But to me, it's worth a lot. Yeah, thank you. And I took some of your vitamins this morning, right, as I right. always do. Yeah, good. I will say one last thing. If, if there's nothing else to make a list, whatever's important in your world, there has to be a driving force in which to change your eating habits. For some people, it's grandkids, it's kids, yeah. it's I don't want to get diabetes like my mom and dad had. Mm -hmm. I do, whatever that list is, put it prominently on your refrigerator where you're getting ready in the morning for work. Refer to that list all the time because that's the positive reinforcement. That's why you're doing it. Wow. You don't mm -hmm. always have to do it for yourself, but you can certainly do it for people that you love, that you would hate. My dad left too early at oh, 68. 60, oh my yeah. God. He was taken from us too early. Don't wow. let that happen. Was he tall like you? Mm -hmm. Wow. Dave, I don't know if, if we were able to get this on the screen. What life source products are helpful for, and it's, and it's blood sugar. I don't know if you have that copied, mm -hmm. but some of the items are, there it is, right on, thank you, Dave. Uh, there you go. Uh, let's go down the list. Uh, Bruce, help us with this as we go down the list. Yes, yeah, so these are, we have blood sugar, 300 support. different items. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, we have 300 different items, 300, 400 different items. But there it these, is on your screen. These are just kind of what helps in the blood sugar arena, which is, you know, what we're talking about here today. Um, we have a blood sugar support, alpha lipoic acid, COQ10. We probably have 15 things that just deal with blood sugar. Stevia powder? Stevia, yeah. Stevia. And, Zero insulin spike with stevia powder. It's, it's a sugar replacement. It comes from a yep. leaf of a plant. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing out there. Splenda doesn't do it. Splenda, they're having amazingly bad results with, with Splenda. All these other ones, um, aspartame or aspartame, depending on how you say it. So cinnamon is good? Cinnamon's great. It's a, it's a, it's it's a sugar you. blocker. Yeah, chromium? Chromium, colonate, tart cherry, whey protein is great and what the protein does is it keeps you full longer mm -hmm. and that's big most people as they age they eat less and less meat it's just the way of it happens which when you are eating less and less meat you also are your muscle tone is going down and down and you cannot build muscle without protein so less protein your muscles are deteriorating and they don't have to deteriorate that fast. So a little bit of whey protein or chicken breast, lean meats, but don't discount the protein. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just want yeah. to make sure people eat more protein. Yeah. However they get it, great. Yeah, I see, I see the, the, the I love MMA, you know, the mm -hmm. real fighters, not the fake stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the guys that fight in a cage, okay? But, but that's what they do. I mean, they, they'll say, what are you eating today? And protein, protein, protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And I mean, muscles. I, 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 and you, you see the results when they get in that cage and they can go five rounds sometimes mm -hmm. if it's a championship fight and they're still going. Right. Yeah, my mom is 90. She'll have a half of a tomato for lunch. Wow. And that's, you know, as you age, that's just what happens. Yeah. You yeah. just start eating less and less, and it becomes more important Maybe that's for why protein. Maybe less and less. <laughs> Probably. Know? So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's very important to, to continue to eat as much as you can. I know it's harder as I just, you get older. I wouldn't ask everybody to do this, but, but I, I start, probably done it for at least three years now, where I eat seven meals less than anyone else, seven meals a week less and I've done that for about three years which makes me feel good because right. I, I fast a couple of times Monday and Tuesday mm -hmm. depending on if Sharon has me going out with guests you know and saying you gotta you gotta eat okay but, but you but Bruce just said uh, you're better off eating a little more as you get older you are you? And, and more times throughout the day is the best yeah. possible way so let's say you have three normal meals in a day cut them make them six so six half meals all day, right? You know who does and that's that? You know who does the that? The perfect way to eat. She yeah. was very overweight. I don't know if you remember Dolly Parton. <laughs> oh. Used to be quite yeah, overweight. Yeah, yeah. And that's what she did. Mm -hmm. And somebody was asking uh, not long ago, how do you maintain this? Because she has never gone back up. Mm -hmm. That's what. That was it. Right. I eat yeah. little meals all day and long. And it keeps your blood sugar level. Blood sugar levels are good. Your liver then has 
the time to process. Yep. Instead of three times bombarding it with this, yep. you're bombarding it six times a day, five times a day. Yep. Slower process. It allows it to do its job and still deal with all the other things that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Much better for you to eat smaller meals six times a day, and it works. It just, like you said with Dolly Parton, it just works. Your metabolism stays high. You mm -hmm. almost can't gain weight because yeah. your metabolism revs up so high when you eat six times a day versus three times. And, you know, sumo wrestlers, they weigh, you know, 500 pounds. Yeah. They eat mandatory. They eat one meal a day. They eat 10,000 calories in one sitting. That's all they eat all day. They're, it turns it all to fat because those guys <laughs> aren't muscular, to. right? Wow. So yeah, it's it's a. Um, but it's hard to do when you're working. You have a jo full time job or something. I would think to do it that way. Yes. It, well, well, it listen, is. Yeah. Is there any person with a higher schedule than Dolly Parton? Yeah. She is going constantly. Yeah. Well, I know she doesn't have a full time nine to five though. Yeah. So that's that's very true. But there's ways around that. There's great bars that don't have a ton of sugar that have high protein count. Always keep almonds at your desk if you're if you're still working. Yeah. Keep almonds at your wow. desk. Any kind of nut, any kind of fruit, wow. pop a banana in there. It's that's <laughs> that's considered but, that that meal. By the way, you right? forgot she wrote the song nine to five. <laughs> she was in the movie. <laughs> yeah. She wrote the song. Uh, uh. And Dave, can you put that uh, first Corinthians six back up? I don't know if I, I, I I, I do crazy things for Dave. My, my, Dave Martin, he's the best director. He can't go to Thank sleep anyway. Okay, <laughs> take a look at this once again. We'll go off with this. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, New Living Translation. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God brought you, bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. That means, yes, what you do as a testimony to people that watch you, that's important. But people don't see what you're doing to your body unless, you know, the pastor stands on the platform and looks out on his audience and go, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. these people are eating themselves to death, visually. But I realize that skinny people can ruin their bodies too. It's not just oh, yeah. the visual. Exactly right. Uh, because, you know, sometimes they've got something going on and they look like they're perfectly healthy and they're, they're skinny. So that's not the end all, but. It's what you put in it. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Allow the Lord to direct you in what you put in here mm -hmm. as well as what you see from here. Jesus Christ is the answer to every need you may have. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching It's Time. If you have recently made a decision for Christ, Herman and Sharon would like to hear from you.